Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making my favorite oatmeal cookies. I've been making and perfecting this recipe for at least 10 years. And this cookie has a perfect balance of crispy texture and flavor. It has a hint of caramel, toasty crispy oatmeal, and dark chocolate chips. And best of all, it's super easy to make. As always, all the ingredients and full recipe are in description of the video. So let's start. We will prepare our dry ingredients first. Measure out two cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. Don't use instant oatmeal as it has completely different texture. Then add one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour. You could use regular or gluten-free in this recipe. Then add a pinch of salt. Salt is super important in sweets as it adds depth and balances out the sweet flavors. Mix it up and now let's move on to our wet ingredients. In the medium saucepan, combine one half cup of packed brown sugar and one stick of butter. I like to cube the butter in one half inch pieces. This way it will cook faster and more evenly. On the stove, we will cook it on medium flame and bring it to a boil while constantly stirring. The cooking of butter and sugar together is what gives our cookie that nice caramel flavor. Once your mixture starts boiling, cook it without stirring for one more minute. Right away, pour our hot butter mixture into the oats and mix it really well to make sure all the oats are evenly coated. Our last ingredient is going to be one egg, and we also want to mix it in really well so it is evenly distributed. The cookie batter is done, and now we're gonna add our filling. So I'm adding in half a cup of chocolate chips. You can try with other fillings in this cookie as well. Try maybe cranberries, walnuts, or white chocolate chips. And now the fun part of shaping the cookies. On a silicone mat or parchment paper, scoop up the batter with a tablespoon and flatten it out and shape it into a round cookie. They don't have to be perfect, just try to make them of somewhat even size and thickness. Bake cookies at 350 for 18 minutes, rotating the tray halfway through. The cookies should have brownish golden edges like this when they are done. And now comes the hardest part. You have to wait about 15 minutes for the cookies to cool off, otherwise they will just fall apart as you try to lift them. Once the cookies are cool, they should easily come off the tray. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about the recipe in the comments.